Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's look at this problem right here. Here, this question is asking: Lightning strikes a dielectric sphere of radius 20 mm, for which epsilon r is equal to 2.5, sigma is equal to 5 times 10 to the power of minus 6 s over m, and the depth and deposits uniformly a charge of 1 coulomb. Determine the initial volume charge density and the volume charge density 2 microsecond later. Now first we are going to see what's going to be the initial volume charge density. That's given by rho v naught and we can calculate that one by dividing the charge by volume of the sphere. Volume of sphere. And we have the charge that's given that's 1 coulomb but before we go for go and plug the values, let's derive an equation for this one. So Q divided by the volume of the sphere, 4 by 3 phi r cube. This 3 will flip around and go to the top. So that's going to be 3 Q divided by 4 phi r cube. Now we have the charge that's 1 coulomb. That's given in the question. This is, this is the charge, right? So 1 coulomb, 3 times 1 divided by 4 phi and the distance is 20 millimeter so times 20 times 10 to the power of minus 3 so that's the radius of the sphere right so cube and after you calculate this one you're going to end up with 29.84 times 10 to the power of 3 and in kilo we can say 29.84 kilo coulombs per meter cube so this is going to be the initial volume charge density now the next thing is we have to calculate volume charge density 2 microsecond later. To calculate uh, volume charge density at a certain time we have to use this equation rho v is equal to rho v naught e power t over tr. Now rho v naught is the initial volume charge density we calculated that one. t is the time that's available that's 2 microsecond. TR is the relaxation time, but we didn't calculate that one. We have to calculate that one first in order to do this problem. Now let's go ahead and do that. So TR can be calculated using epsilon divided by sigma. Epsilon is equal to epsilon r, epsilon naught divided by sigma. We have the epsilon r value provided, that is 2.5, and the sigma, I mean epsilon naught value, that is equal to 10 to the power of minus 9 divided by 36 phi and then sigma value also provided that is 5 times 10 to the power of minus 6 and if you calculate this TR value you are going to get 4.421 microsecond so we have calculated, calculated the TR value we have rho v naught available TR value available time available so we can go ahead and calculate this one right now let's go ahead and plug everything in this equation and see what we get so rho v naught we calculate that one 29.84 times 10 to the power of 3 and then e power 2 microsecond actually micro micro going to cancel so we can we can eliminate that one so t is going to be what 2 divided by 4.421 and if you calculate this one you're going to get 18.98 times 10 to the power of 3 and in kilo we can say 18.98 kilo coulombs per meter cube so this is going to be the volume charge density 2 microsecond later and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching